Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is Wednesday in our household and it is looking very dreary and rainy outside. Not a very pretty day, but we are gonna have a good day today. So we planned our homeschool gathering meeting today. So we are gonna actually go to the Talking Tree Forest. We've filmed that before. I'll just do a couple clips of that and then come back and do life here at home. So got up, um, got ready, got my letter board. Don't let your heart be troubled. It was the sermon I was listening to and it says, what does the Lord command us to do? Don't let your heart be troubled. Is your heart troubled? Are you having anxiety about things? Are you thinking about things that happened yesterday? I was, and I was listening to this verse and I was like, or this sermon, and I was like, you know what? That's what it says. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let it be dismayed. But the Lord your God goes with you and for you. So I am not gonna worry about anything today. You are not gonna worry about anything today. We're just gonna move forward with our day, right? Yes. I got a little up and because we're gonna go hiking through the woods and it's gonna be muddy because it's raining. I think it's gonna stop though. So I think I'm gonna take Maxine with us just in case because Lauren said she saw a bear in Matthew's yard yesterday, which is in the area. We'll be safe that way. And then um, we're just gonna have a good morning doing that. All I did was make apple oatmeal for breakfast for the kids. I pulled up dinner, frozen salad, warm <laughs> Gwumkies and then creamy chicken and stuffing. The Gwumkies, I know that some of them will eat, not all the little kids, so I thought I'd make the creamy chicken as well. Heat the oven up once, it'll be a simple, easy dinner. Don't have to worry about that till I get home today. I'm also gonna share today, later on, about my tips for homeschooling through high school, someone asked me, so I'll put that in today's video. I'm gonna do my Mod Podge for my pictures today. What else am I gonna do? That's all on my list today, so it's gonna be a good day. I gotta record my Abundantly Blessed series. It's gonna be a great day today, so you just come along. We'll see how we get things done. I just wiped the boys' bathroom because it's the boys' bathroom. It wasn't even that dirty, but just a little bit. They're getting better about not having toothpaste all over the sink. Boys, so much fun. And then I just told the girls to bring up their bedding because this is the week that we wash their bedding. That's it, house is already clean. There's a few dishes I'll throw in the dishwasher. Not a whole lot of prep in the house today. I like these days like this, so we're just gonna get out the door and go have a good day. So everybody's gonna pack a lunch, peanut butter and jelly some snack, I don't even have snacks, some fruit and cucumbers and some crackery something. I don't know what, we'll see what their popcorn, I popcorn, we can bring that. So it'll be good. All right, quick intro today. Don't let your heart be troubled. Remember this board for the entire day. Don't it, when your heart gets tired, tired trouble, you're feeling stress, the Lord says, don't let your heart be troubled. So we're not gonna have our heart be troubled, right? We're gonna be focusing on the positive. Stay away from that negative. I had an issue yesterday. Not gonna deal with it today, right? Positive, yes, positive. All right, we're gonna get going there today. You ready? Let's go. All right, we made it in the car with the Maxine, the spotted. She's like, what are you people I'm doing to me? So I figured I'd take her because there probably will not be anybody there because it's raining. And who wants to walk through the forest in the rain? We will. So everybody's got their rubber boots on and little hoodies. And we are just going to go for an adventure. It's going to be a great day. Yes, kids. Right, guys? Great day. <laughs> it is 56 degrees. Don't need gloves today. Okay, let's go.
All right, we made it, and it's actually sunshiny here, so everything's pretty wet, so everybody's got their little boots on, and we're just waiting for friends. We're gonna walk over here on the easy path.
All right, we did a successful trip to the Talking Tree Forest. Maxine did really good. She only barked Hi. at like strangers, which is only a couple and another dog, so not bad. She did good. Hey, guys. Okay, so we just got home. So I'm having everybody put their stuff away. Doing the chores from the morning, which is basically over here in the wall. I'm gonna have them come up and do this. And then I'm gonna put the dinner in the oven right now. It's only 1.30, but make sure it cooks real good. So Brooklyn is gonna do my Mod Podge for me. You saw me scraping off Lauren's picture. What happened the year before, hers had a little bubble in it, and then I put her picture on top of it, and it made like a little bubble in the middle. So kind of, you didn't really notice unless you touched it. So I'm like, I need to scrape that off this year. So I scraped it off as smooth as I can get. So we will see what it looks like when we put another one on there. They don't always go on the same top of the right pictures. It just depends on what their picture is. But let me show you. A couple years ago till now. Here's Brooklyn. This was what, two years ago? Two years ago, right? So here's Brooklyn two years ago. Here's Brooklyn this year. So Brooklyn will get her picture. My face is so much tinier. Tiny, we're little. We're gonna put her picture on here. So Brooklyn's the new one. So Lauren and Matthew, here's Lauren's old picture. We won't show Matthew, there's Lauren. So she still had her, her hair. She had actually her hair colored then too. Yeah. And Matthew, so they're gonna have to go on a one of these pictures. So probably put on Steven's picture. We'll show that one in a minute. And then we got Autumn. This was Autumn a few years ago. Here's Autumn my this hair is year. So short. You don't have a tooth There anymore. she is. Yeah, my hair was short. Yep, your teeth went straighter. They did. Look at how cute. Yeah, the difference between these two is that my teeth are your teeth like went. a seven year old. Here's Jensen. There's Jensen, little Jensen. He's really grown up too. And here's Jensen this year. Colin. I think Colin's changed a lot too. Here's Colin. Last time and here's new Colin. Yeah, he looks like an adult now. Looks like an adult. He's like an adulting. Then Ashton and Paul. This is before they're married, actually. And this is now their married picture. They're so cute. It's so green there. Green in Michigan. It's so much greener than here. Where's and then Evan. Here's Evan a few years ago. And Evan this way. Yep, his face got longer, more manly like. Here's Madeline. Madeline. Oh, you have the same wall picture, Maddie. Uh uh. My teeth are crookeder. <laughs> no, well, that's because they that fell one. out. That's all. Like, it's just you're the age. So we will be putting this on here. So then what we'll do is, oh, wait, is Jayden we'll Jayden switch. Jayden. Wait, where's Jaden? And Steven. Oh, Brooklyn, in the pile. Brooklyn forgot the other pictures. Hold on. There's two on here. No. Now I'm going to move it. Go ahead and get the other picture. We're missing kids. Sorry. Where's the other children? Jaden and Steven. So then Jaden. Oh, I remember now. Jaden and Steven don't have double pictures. Oh, see, they reprinted the pictures, which they was. They printed each photo except for Jaden and Steven. Okay, so here's. Well, where'd Jaden go? I just covered her up. Is she under here? Here's Jaden a few years ago, and here's Jaden now. Her hair, so long. her hair was so long. Oh, yeah, she never cut. She cut it this last year. So there's Jaden. So she gets. Actually, and then this will be Steven. A few years ago, and Steven now. Is like we have more pictures? Yes. Yeah, so here's. Okay. So we're going to put Steven on Jaden. This one here. And all you do, I'm going to take Lauren's up, I'm going to, don't need that. You literally, what I'm going to have, Brooklyn, this is it, this is going to be our new wall photos. And then she got miniature ones. And then I got miniature ones to give away. But they reprinted it, and I didn't know why, but it was because there was like a red line on it. So all you're going to do is, you take Mod Podge, which is over here, Brooklyn's getting it. You get this one, I don't even think you'll use all this container. I just use this one, the matte one. It's like school blue. And I bought this, 57 cent thing, and all she's going to do is Wait, it's spread matte. matte. I bought matte, that's okay. You can use whatever kind you want. Glossy, shiny, the matte. So she's gonna put a little bit probably right on here, all the way covering it so it's nice and good, and then just stick this on top and slide it to make it work. And then once it's in place, she'll mod podge the entire thing. You'll look like you're ruining it, but you will not. So super simple, and they'll stay up there forever and a day. So I love them. Very cute. All right, Brooklyn, good luck. All right, so Brooklyn is going to graciously do this, and then I am going to do school with the little ones right now. So she's gonna go ahead and mod podge away. Bye bye.
Okay, we are moving along with school. It is taking a lot longer than usual. We're smiling. What does it say? Don't let your heart be troubled. I'm not letting my heart be troubled at all. Even though it's algebra and children that haven't done school all day, so they have to do it now. So even learning this new skill of whistling all day long, it's good. So what I'm going to do, I've got a picture on the wall. They look great. Thank you, Brooke. I'm going to make um, cucumber salad for my guampies. The chicken's finished. And usually I peel these and do all sorts of things. But I'm actually just going to, I just rinse them off really good. And I'm going to do them in here and let the food processor cut them real thin. And then you put a little bit of salt on them, let them soak. And then add sour cream. So I'm just going to do a little different. Who's having? Who's having his car? Bye, Abby. Okay, so what you do is you let this kind of sit and the, the salt will carry out, oh, bring out the water from the cucumbers and then I'll add sour cream. So this is gonna be done. The guampies are cooking. Let me show you the chicken. The chicken looks really good. This creamy chicken casserole, delicious. Tastes really good to go piece off. So that's done and here's the guampies. I am just cooking that a little sauce cloudy there, a little bit longer. Okay, so I thought I would come outside because my house is just loud and busy. So I thought I'm gonna record right here like I did the other day. Hopefully it'll work just the same as it did right here. Probably right. Oh, my was Ruby. Ruby's like, you're outside. Dude. All right. Can I get barking done? Bark, bark, bark. Are you done? It's so gorgeous out. It's perfect fall day. It's beautiful. It's chilly. Like I have the window shut because it's chilly. But it's blue sky and fall weather. I like my summer, but I like my fall too. So. We've had a busy afternoon. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yesterday was very chill, but it was one of those days with the distraction. And then today it's like, okay, it's just busy. So we did our little field trip in the morning and then we came home and did, we're doing school and I'm doing school like for Jaden and Brooklyn and Autumn. So it's just a lot of catching up. Okay. So it's a lot of catching up on my end, but we're getting there. So getting there, dinner's going to be done baking. Thank goodness I didn't have to worry about that. That's why my freezer meals come in handy because all I did was pull it out and I put it and I baked it for an hour. And then I did about a half hour because I like mine a little more cooked to make sure the chicken's cooked and this, the guamkeys I like cooking for a long time. So this is for Tracy and I think I'll have a couple other people ask you to it but I specifically screenshotted hers so I wouldn't forget to do this. So Tracy asked me about how I homeschool through high school. So this might go against everybody. This might go against what everybody else does and everybody wants to have this, this, and this but this is what we do. We may do a few things different. This is what we have done for our older kids. How's that sound? Because Jaden will be starting next year high school and that'll be the first time we're doing it here in North Carolina, a little bit different. So let me share what we have done in the past. When I was first a homeschool parent, you know, I thought I had to do all the boom, 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 boom. This is if they're gonna be failures if they don't do every single day worth of six hours for the school. And then I realized, wow, all of elementary is pretty much a review up through fifth grade. Yes, can we agree on that? Everything they do in first grade, they do it in fifth grade as well, just a little bit more, right? Everything they do in second grade is pretty much the same as, hi Maxine, Maxine's like I'm here. So, <laughs> anyways, my animals are all by me. So, what we did in Michigan is we did this thing, and I have it on my site here, is the remedial. We did like a one room schoolhouse, think a little house in the prairie. That's how we taught one complete curriculum, and then we just did a little bit more for the older ones and a little bit less for the younger ones. And so, I found that a lot of elementary is just review as far as English and math goes and they're a handwriting they just learn when they're ready junior high is about the same now we went to a mennonite church and so in mennonites and amish they only go through school until eighth grade now some people may agree that that's bad that's good whatever but that's what they do and then guess what they do with their kids they get them prepared for life in real life so that is the mentality that i took as well there's also people that do unschooling i believe that i just saw a channel She's a pretty popular channel, and she just did a huge overview of unschooling her kids. And so, we just you just gotta get out of the mentality that they have to have a whole year of algebra, they gotta have a whole year of calculus, they gotta have a whole year of this, or all of this as far as, you know, English, literature, all these things, or they're gonna be failures in life. And that is so not the case. Every time I do math with my kids, like right now we're doing algebra with Jaden, and I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I love it. I love math, love it, love it, love it. I can do it all day long, so my favorite thing to do is numbers, tax time, oh yes, love it. But my kids, some of them do not. And so to get her to do the algebra, that's just like, ugh, I'm like pulling teeth sometimes. And so, but then I said to her, I said, you know what? You're never gonna use this in life, ever, 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 ever. 
Never once do I do algebra in my entire existence of life. I said, but you gotta know the basics. So you gotta know the basics. That's what this day wants you to do. So your job is to learn the basics, so you got it. And that's what we're doing right now. So we focus on the basics for our kids. So back to the Amish. So they would just do it through eighth grade. And then after that, because pretty much everything you learned through eighth grade, like you're set, you don't even have to do anymore. Then what we've done is um, focus on like a whole high school review in one year. My oldest daughter wanted to go to college. So we did the through eighth grade school thing, not really in grades because we didn't have to in Michigan. And then she decided she wanted to go to college. So I said, okay, let's make sure that you're prepared for the college. So what we did was we got a remedial English book and I don't know which one I got, but it was basically high school English course all in one year. And guess what? That one year she did a review of everything she had to know for English. Most of it she knew, there was some she didn't, and she learned it real quick, she was done. We did the same thing for math. We did a whole entire basic math review, basic math review, which covered everything. And then I also gave her a real life, um, I think it was like everyday math, I think it was from Rebecca at the time. And so they basically, she knows how to do math in real life, like banking, she knows credit cards, she knows how taxes, she knows how all those things work. And then we did the remedial math, which is basically a review of math for everything, so she has the basics covered. That's what we did. We did an entire thing of American history. Did I follow what the, the schools do? No, you don't need that for college to get into it, or at least the schools we didn't go to. It might be different years, so check everything. So what I did was we went through and did our America Story of Us, and we went through and did all the American history, watching DVDs and videos. She made a timeline of the American history, so she can kind of know, like, you know, if the Great Depression happened, you know, way before or way after World War II, all those things. So she kind of has a generalized idea of how things work, right about the Statue of Liberty, all the things in America that people should roughly know. And so we did that. Then we did world history, so she could get a world view of basically how the world was as well. That is what we did. Then she took other courses and we counted them as real life courses. I got a book one time and it was um, home, I'll put the, I'll try to put the link. It's an old book, you can't get it anymore. You get it on Amazon used, but it's um, Home Education Formula. Which I don't remember what the book was called, but I'll, I'll, I can look it up on Amazon. I've seen it before because I linked it for a different video. Her mentality, it was a very wordy book and she went on and on and on with a lot of things, but it got me into that mentality of, oh, this is how I can make up a course for fine arts because we didn't have a fine arts course. We weren't doing like this thing, but she was involved in drama at church and she was helping with those things. So I was able to count that as a credit for her school. Home ec, the same thing. We didn't really have a formal home ec course. I didn't have one at the time like I do now. So guess what? Cooking and cleaning and taking care of daily life was part of her home ec course. We did sewing in that course and she also learned different, um, you know, organizing skills. All these things that we were able to put as a course in however many hours. You know, we kind of figured out how many hours a day she roughly did it, multiply that by a week, multiply that by a month, or by weeks is what we did, because we had to do weekly hours, and then figured out by the end of the year. That is how we figured out her stuff. Colin came around, he didn't, Michigan didn't have any laws for school, so we got up through the basic thing and he was done. He was done, he started working at a job with my husband, and he started working in the field that my husband does, and then guess what? He came home one day and he's like, I gotta learn this trick. And I'm like, well, we went over a trick. And he's like, no, we didn't. And I'm like, yes, we did. You just didn't wanna learn it. So guess what? In a few short months, he taught himself a whole year's worth of trick on his own because he had to learn it. That's how it goes. Lauren, Lauren came around for school and she was like, she knows ever since she was little what she wanted to be. I wanna be a mom and I wanna be a stay at home mom and that's what I wanna do. I don't wanna to go to college. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I said, let's teach you the basics. So we did. So for her school, it was a lot of it on Lauren led school, what she wanted to learn and she did whatever she wanted to do and that was good enough for her. As she got older, she's like, you know, I really wanna improve on this. And so she learned a little bit more about that and got that. She's like, I just wanna make sure I cover the basics. And she did that. Evan came along, we moved here, we moved here as he was kind of going through middle school, high school. And so they made me put him in grades. And I didn't really know what grade to put him in. So I put him in a younger grade than what he would have been at just because it was, I didn't know at the time how all that was gonna pan out. So for him, he decided that he wants a physical piece of paper to show that he can cover all the basic subjects for high school. So what he is doing and choosing to do, because he's 18 now and he can still do school for a few years, but he doesn't want to, he is actually going to our college and going to the adult center and they're actually, um, he's going through testing and online schooling to do the high set, which is a home high school equivalency exam, basically like the GED, because that's what he wants to do. And I said, okay, that's fine. So he is studying that, it'll take him, I don't know, few months however long it takes him to do he's actually going to take in a, a practice test right now and so that is what he is choosing to do because he wants to get it done he wants to have a physical paper from a school that says I know the basics 
that was his choice. So I said, okay, cool, that's what he's doing. So he's studying hard on that, online with classes, and all of its review of everything we've done, it's just doing it over and over again. So that's his choice of what he's doing. Jaden on down, they're not to high school yet, so I don't have to worry about it just yet. I'm gonna tell you to go check with your state and what your rules and laws are for your state because I'm not gonna tell you one thing and then you go, oh, my state tells me I have to have a year of Spanish or I have to have a year of French or whatever, whatever it is. So go check with your um, state laws. Make sure you're, I think it's the Homeschool Legal Defense um, Association website. You go on there, you click on your state and you can choose and see what your rules are for your state. And that's like your first step so you can figure out what you have to do. Most stress about it, don't stress. You don't have to teach your kids calculus they'll be completely fine if you do not teach them calculus I know calculus but if my kids don't know it they're still gonna function great in life yes so what we will be doing is we'll be doing the first year pretty much their ninth grade year will be pretty much a review of everything they have to know as far as um, math and English and then we'll do a little bit of history whatever they want to do whether they just did American history or whether they're gonna do world history and then we're also gonna put in the real life electives like you know computer and also with home ec, that kind of thing for them. So then what I'll choose to do the next year, they'll be getting close to um, where they might be getting a job. I don't know, it depends on what they're gonna be doing in life. And so we will focus on what is it you really wanna do in life? What kind of skills do you want to do? What do you wanna learn? What's something else you wanna learn? And we're gonna go learn those skills. Like Jane right now is with the older ladies at Stab and Jab Club. You know, not Stab and Jab, Stab and Gap. And they're learning all these different crochet, crochet and cross stitch, all that. That's what she really likes and enjoys doing. She's doing that and that's a great thing for her to do. She's serving at church. She's serving in different areas in the community. Gets her out to kind of explore different things to see like, okay, this is what I like doing this or I don't like doing this. This is something I enjoy doing. It's to get her, expand herself, stretch herself a little bit, do things she didn't think she'd normally do to figure out what it is she wants to do. And if she decides she wants to go to college, if she does, if she doesn't, that is quite okay. Um, I will say, okay, well, then if you wanna go, then let's make sure you know all your math. We'll get a book on the remedial math and do it all. We'll do the same thing for English and then get her right into college. The hours at the local college, you just go in and take a test and they'll test you anyway. So put you where you need it. College, the first year of college is basically a review of all of your high school in one class. Cause I remember taking basic math in college and it was a review of everything I did in high school, just real quick, so. When you're older and you want to learn it, your brain is a lot easier to, rec to be able to get it done. So that is what we'll do. We'll do like an accounting course. We'll do finances. We'll do things like that, basic things. But we'll do accounting with our business, with this YouTube, with our my husband's business. We're doing all those things all the time because it's just life. And so I want them to be prepared. Okay, this is what you have to do. We talk about what we have to do. We talk about credit cards coming in the mail. We talk about how credit cards work. And is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? How you can save so much money by putting away a certain amount versus just buying it right now and saving up for a purchase. We have the Dave Ramsey course. We do that one as well. Real life skills. Don't just sit them in front of a computer and do nothing. Get them into what you do in everyday life. You gotta figure out your your car and figure out how to work on it. Guess what? Dad is right there with them telling them what they have to do for their car and what the first thing is to do wrong. They're working on and learning those skills that they're gonna actually need for life. That is what we do for our school. Do we do four years exactly of it? No. Um, I have to look up exactly what our laws here for North Carolina, so I haven't been to that part yet. So I don't know exactly what we'll have to make sure we cover, but if there's something that we need, guess what? We'll figure out a course to do it. That's just how we do it. There's tons of all-in-one homeschool. High school online is free, and they have tons of different electives and different courses you can take, and it's free online. We used them for Lauren and a little bit of Evan as well. So there's just so many resources you can do, and you can put it into a course. It's just the number of hours that your child is taking it. Health class. You know what we did for Lauren? I remember going to the library and getting all the great new books, like Michael Pollan's, um, like the, it was talking about Whole Foods, this back in the day when Whole Foods was not even a Whole Foods thing. We got like five or six books and we kind of read through them for her whole year. We watched tons of documentaries on um, food and what it does to your body. Okay, battery died. I had to go get a, I like All right, battery died. I had to go get another one. So that was what we did for health. And then we also, we learned about first aid, safety, and we took a child class, things like that. Sorry. All of that can be put into real life schooling and counted towards their end of year credit. There's, um, you can, like I said, you can just, you can go, you can go get a child development. Okay, we had babies, so we had child development for like years. And so you can go get a child development book at the library, a huge thick one, and go through the different phases of all the child development, to child that for a child development class. Let them watch some preschoolers, let them watch some toddlers, watch them watch some babies and babysit. Oh yeah, there you go. Free babysitting to come towards school. 
all those things you can do and that was where I got that with that um, that formula I think it was formula form plus design U plus LA I'm pretty sure it was the name of the book something like formula that was where I got a lot of ideas of hands-on skills and how you can put real life into a book if you have to if you don't have to keep track of what your kid does then don't worry about it. Like some states you have, like Michigan, we didn't have any laws, so I didn't have to keep track. I did keep track with Ashton because I was like, oh my goodness, she's gonna fail if I don't. And then I realized, oh, when she went to college, they're like, oh, we don't need any of that. Okay, well, she's done with school. Okay, cool, let's give her this test. And they took, she took a test. And I said, okay, this is the math you'll be in. And she took an English test. Okay, that's where it'll be. That was what we had to do there. Here is gonna be a little bit different because it's a different state, different laws, but here I have to have them in grades. I know that, and they have to complete certain courses. Even though they recommend ones, we don't have to actually take them. They, and a lot of your homeschools check a lot of that stuff. They'll say in your thing, recommended that they want you to take because it's what the school system does. But you can do whatever you decide for your child. Remember that. You just want to teach them. You want to get them prepared for life. That is what our goal is when they're hitting high school is. Okay, I want to make sure they can get outside and clean their yard up and know how to clean the yard, cut the grass, and take care of your house, and change the oil in their car, and that they can take care of a child if they have to, or, or entertain a group of preschoolers, or entertain a group of toddlers, or be able to hold a baby and keep it quiet for two hours while the mom's gone. I want them to be able to go and interact with a group of people and talk properly in front of them. I want them to not be afraid to stand up and share their faith with people. I want them to be able to go and serve up a meal for 50, 100 people if they have to. I want them to be able to be able to keep their house clean. I want them to be able to figure out how to go get clothes when they don't have a lot of money and how to get them for cheap and how to make it look good, how to do those things and be frugal, how to go shopping and be frugal with their money and see whether they go to one store and buy everything brand name versus going to the discount store and saving a whole lot of money and other things you can buy. How to do trips that are free. We look up different ideas and I'm like, there's just so much stuff. That is what my heart and my husband's heart is for our kids, real life learning. That's what we want. Do all of them want that? Do all? Maybe some of them might want college and real strict. Like Ashlyn was great. She was school focused right from the beginning. Whenever I gave her a textbook, I'm like, you can miss skip that part. She's like, oh no no, I want to do it. And she would go through every. She loved textbook learning and she did everything she was supposed to do. Work at school all day long because that's what she really wanted. She went to college. She got her bachelor's. She's into teaching right now. That's what she loves. That's her. My next two didn't want anything to do with it, and they just want to do their own. Collins just working in our business, doing home business. Lauren's a self-proclaimed, a self-employed person. She she organizes people's houses for them because she realizes that most people don't even have the skills to keep their house clean. Isn't that crazy? But she is very good with that because she's done it a whole lot. So she goes and gets paid because these people didn't bother to learn. Not nothing didn't bother. They just never learned how to keep their house clean. I'm gonna say that nicer. Things like that, you know, we can do meal prep and then I can teach my kids how to do meal prep and then guess what, you go meal prep for somebody and make money doing that. All sorts of things. There is just a whole spew of jobs that you can do on your own, you can be a YouTuber <laughs> and share your way of life with people, right? There's so many different things you can do, but our goal is, you know, we always want them to be self-employed because I want them to know how important it is to work for themselves versus working for somebody else. But whether they choose to do that, no, that's that's gonna be completely up to them. So every child is different. They all wanna take their different paths in life and we respect and honor that completely. So, all right, Tracy, did I do enough talking? And I hope that I answered your question some. Real life learning, that's your bottom line, real life learning. If they have to know a little bit of calculus, teach them a little bit of calculus. If they have to know a whole year of calculus, not unless your, your state tells you you have to, then don't do it because they're not going to use it at all unless they want to go to college. And guess what? In college, they'll do a real quick course on it and you won't have to stress about it. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm going to go back in and check on dinner. And I got this little clip done. Done. What a good day. Great day. I wanted to get this part done. This was the most important. I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm ever going to get there. So I'm going to have to edit tonight for a little bit. And I think I'm going to go out and record Abundantly Blessed. I'm just going to go check my food in the oven and see where it's at and then we'll go from there Maxine's outside hello Maxine hello how's the puppy how's your outside life is it nice out here says it's so sunny with Ruby and here's your best friend Ruby Ruby's like hello you and Maxine I love it okay I'm gonna go ahead and check dinner all right All right, I'm coming outside here. Got my tripod. The dinner is done, so all I did, Ruby's coming with me. She's walking right with me. Dinner is done. I just turned the oven off and let it sit in there. And then um, I thought I'm gonna come out and record, ooh, sunshine, abundantly blessed, to make sure I have that for this week, because this week we're going away. And I won't record on Saturday, so I'm gonna come over here in my yard. All their kayaks, make sure there's no buggies or <coughs> Ruby's here, of course. <coughs> Ruby says, I'm just making sure we know I'm here. We know you're up, everybody knows it. All right, so let's get my camera thing here.
All right, so the next clip you see will be me. I'm gonna do my abundantly blessed. Okay, okay, just finish abundantly blessed. Look who's out here. Come on. Maxine's collar's not on, so she's over here. Come on, Maxine, come on. So let's see if she comes. You come with mom over here. No, this way. She was like going up in the woods. I'm like, where? she kept coming really slow. I'm like, where is she going? And she, come on. Okay, so her collar wasn't even on, but she was going really slow over here. I'm like, why is she going so slow? Come on. You know you're supposed to be over here. She's like, it was a taste of freedom, mommy. Freedom I haven't had in a long time. All right, I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna get dinner out so everybody can eat because I'm hungry. I can smell those Gwumpkies outside. Uh, Gwumpkies was <laughs> my husband, Ruby. My husband, um, the first dinner I had at his family's house was Gwumpkies. And this play, it's stuck up. I'm just laughing, here's Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. She's in the window. I got Brooklyn staring at me and I got the dog barking. No, 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 hey, hey, hey. Okay, I didn't get to finish my story because my dogs were crazily barking and attacking a poor bear out there. I don't know about poor bear because poor bear attacks everybody else. But Guamkeys is the first meal I had with my husband's family. We had actually, it, it overflowed in their oven and caught fire on the bottom of their oven, so it was smelling so bad. So here I'm going to eat this smelly dish, you know, and it's, I didn't, I don't think I, I didn't love them, but they were okay. But the house just stunk like burnt wumpkies. And then we weren't even going to church, but we went to church with them for Christmas service or something. And we went to church and we were smelling so, so bad. So wumpkies were the first meal I had with Grandma Sandy. And then my husband, I remember sitting next to him, he just took a big old bottle of ketchup and just squirted it all over the whole plate. And I was like, what is this man doing? Gross. <laughs> so, but I've come to love wumpkies. We have them a lot. I got I got four pans in the freezer, so I'm gonna pull those out right now and get my cute. Actually, I'm gonna get my cucumber salad first. Then we'll have bumpies. So this is the cucumber salad. Usually it has a whole, it does have a little bit of water. I'm gonna drain it and then put some sour cream. All right, so here's the cucumber salad, and here is the guamkies. These are so good. So when you skip them out, I've never had a guamkie. she's gonna have her first guamkie. Here's like a one right here. You just skip it out, and it's a whole cabbage roll. Delicious Ooh. with the sauerkraut, and these are brats. Ooh, steaming up. And then here is the chicken. I didn't even make a side with it. I know that's how good I am right now. This is just here's chicken breast in here. It's creamy chicken. They'll just eat it plain with stuffing. This is really good. So it'll look like right there. See that? That's delicious. There's that. And then I guess I did pull out chili because some child asked for chili. I think it was autumn. So this is going to be dinner. Super simple. We're going to eat right now. All right. So I actually, I'm coming outside. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to close this video right now because I want to start working on it. I know it's going to be long and I'm hungry and I need to eat dinner and all the above. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to start eating and I'm going to close the video because I know there's a lot on here. <laughs> so yesterday was kind of short. Today will be a longer vlog. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and our Tuesdays at Amy's. Tomorrow we'll have, or no, Wednesday. It's not Tuesday. It's Wednesday. See, I don't even know what day it is. My Wednesdays at Amy's. Whatever the day is. Here's Ruby. Yep. Thank you. Everybody hear her? She's just like, I'm here. She's, no, she's looking at her. Looking for a cat. There's cats sleeping under there. But this is what it looks like outside. Alright, so what I'm going to do is close this video. I'm going to go in and make a plate of food. We're going to eat and then I'm going to go sit and work on these videos. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday. Let's be ready for Thursday. Ready for Thursday? Thursday we're going to do some baking. I know we're going to do some cooking because I'm going to get ready for going away. So, alright, you have a great day. We will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.